you know, it's interesting when Darwin wrote um, on the origin of species, he had an entire chapter devoted to uh, difficulties with his theory. And so these were places where he realized that there were features of nature that didn't line up with what he would have expected if indeed his theory was valid. And so Darwin was intellectually honest in, in pointing out those difficulties with his theory. And those are great places to start in terms of uh, uh, asking the question, you know, if Darwin knew then what we know now, would he have advanced this theory? Uh, one thing that Darwin lamented about was the way the fossil record looked, the patterns in the fossil record. Because Darwin expected that evolution would happen gradually. Well, if that was the case, then the fossil record should show gradual evolutionary transformations. It should show um, a lot of transitional forms. But instead, what the fossil record in Darwin's day showed were, were that groups would appear suddenly uh, without any kind of history preceding them in an evolutionary sense. And then they would remain unchanged or, or static before they would disappear from the fossil record. Uh, so that troubled Darwin. Uh, but in addition to that, Darwin was aware of something called the, what we now call today the Cambrian explosion. And this is an event in life's history where out of nowhere, complex animals show up suddenly in the fossil record. The, these are called the Cambrian strata. And uh, be beneath those strata of rocks, there's nothing. There's no evolutionary history. Then suddenly, this explosion of animal forms takes place. And, and Darwin was very troubled by that. Well, what's interesting is Darwin said, look, if, if we uh, continue to collect more fossils, uh, and study geological layers, these problems are going to evaporate. That's what he wrote in The Origin of Species. Well, it's interesting, 160 years later, the fossil record in terms of its pattern still looks the same. Things show up suddenly in the fossil record, they remain unchanged, and then they disappear. There's a dearth of transitional intermediate forms, and the Cambrian explosion looks like it's a real event that today defies evolutionary explanation. So when you just look at, at the, the difficulties that Darwin identified uh, and, and realize that those difficulties persist today, that to me is, is reason, I think, if you're a thinking person, to, to be skeptical that, of maybe the grand claim that evolution can explain everything in biology.